You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Hi, friends. Welcome back to The Rachel LaFore Show. I'm really excited. Well, let me welcome you. If in the event this is your first time listening, boy, are you in for a treat. This is one out of a three-part episode series that we're getting ready to do. So typically, if I'm doing series and things like that, this content would live over on my other initiative called The Misfit Light. Although the misfit light has gone dark for the summer because we've got some fun things happening behind the scenes and that will be coming back in fall. And so I thought these are really things that I've been working through and moving through. And I know a lot of you are on, are on my level. So I wanted to offer up this information. I think especially as we've been talking through the last couple of episodes, the solo episodes, all about this leveling up the energy from June, the energy from July, and really that this is an opportunity for us to integrate, integrate, integrate. This is not really the energy and the time to start like digging for, because this we're almost in that place of what I always call is like the, the spiritual desert where you got the download, you know what you're supposed to be doing, and then you do it a little bit and there's no instant gratification. And so you're meditating harder. You're buying extra Palo Santo. You just know if you connect to the right guide that you'll, it's like all you want to fucking hear is that it's like, great, here is your prize. And that's not how it works. And so I feel like summer is offering us this beautiful, summer in the States is offering us this beautiful respite of this is your time to integrate and put these things into small action that over time and coming out into, you know, end of August, going to September, you're really going to see some things ripen and you're really, that energy is going to be like boom, 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 boom. And it's going to take us up and out into the end of the year. Okay. So this is a great time, I think, for us to do this series together so that we can really focus in and, and harness this stuff. Now, in the event that you're still listening, I realized that I should have said, hi, I'm Rachel LaForce. This is a spiritual podcast from me, a comedian, because healing and self-growth, self-growth, she got it, is hilarious. It's hilarious that we do this. It's hilarious that I'm just, you know, in my home studio by myself, just talking to nobody, being like, let's heal. Like, that's a little funny. It's a little funny. And so I really love to offer you grounded tips for um, for high growth. Cool. So the official title of this three series, and I've got notes down here a little bit. So I, I want to make sure I hit the things that I need to. So if you're like, what is she looking at? I'm not distracted, believe it or not. Uh, I just want to make sure that I get everything out that I need to share with you today. So this is a three episode series. It's yours, the business of leveling up and overcoming your self sabotage. Self sabotage. It is a sneaky little beach, and we are really wanting this to be the last year that we engage with that behavior. We're done. It's done. We don't need it anymore. We trust ourselves. We know where we're going, and we're not going to do that. Now, I'd also like to say before we really get into it that a lot of some of these principles and ideas we've talked about the last couple of solo episodes. I think it's been building, but this really feels like, boom, like we're going in, we're massaging it and we're getting into it. Okay. Um, so if you find, if somehow you missed some of the, the past, uh, recent, probably the last two months of those solo episodes, I encourage you to go pop in and listen to a few of those as a lot of, uh, these concepts overlap, especially the business of leveling up what that means, it's been a really steep learning curve, I think, for a lot of us as far as like getting into this place where we really trust ourselves, we're overcoming the that terror barrier, right? We talked about that a little bit where it's your your mind, your soul, you know where you're wanting to go and your body is like feeling that resistance and is not ready. That's the terror. Your nervous system is not ready for it. So we're really going to be diving into those practices. Uh, so let me back up. The first episode today is all about acceptance. We have to accept 
what is ours, what is coming for us. We have to accept our, our journey in this life. And we also need to accept all of our bullshit that we did before all the self-sabotage. None of this like, Oh, I don't do that. Shut the fuck up. Yes, you do. We all do. Okay. And we're not going to be able to overcome it. We're not going to be able to confront it especially the more that we level up, the sneakier it gets because it wants to keep us safe. It doesn't feel safe the more that we step out, okay? So that's going to be today's episode. And then the second episode in the series is all around our nervous system. So it's really going to be focusing on that terror barrier, how to retrain. It's not just retraining your neuro pathways because you can train your mind to do anything, but if it is not in congruence with your body, it doesn't really mean much right? And in fact, we disregard our body. We've talked about this a lot recently. We disregard our body when in fact, most of the time it is the most influential tool that we have because it's the thing here on this physical plane. Cool. And then lastly, our third week, we're going to talk all about response and action. So we're really going to be getting into what are we responding to? What are we taking in? And then how do we want to take that proper action so that we're no longer responding from old wounds? We're no longer responding out of fear that we have done the work of accepting, looking out for the ways in which we sneakily self-sabotage, retraining our nervous system. And then so that way we are creating new responses and thus we are taking a higher action than we would have chosen before. Oh gosh, you're going all of this. I know. Get ready. Get ready. So Let's let's dive into this about the idea of accepting, right? So again, I I very purposely, you know, um called this episode it's yours, the business of leveling up and overcoming self-sabotage. It's yours. Y'all, I know that you know this. If you're on spiritual talk at all, you've seen it of like if you dream it, you can become it, right? Like you if you it's your vision, your blueprint. Nobody else got your blueprint. Like we get it, right? Uh, even in the spiritual grab bag episode we did, we got that surrender card and it was all about surrendering to your life's path. What is your life's path? What is the soul journey that you're here to do? And that's so much of what this acceptance is, that it's yours. You already know. So knock it off with the self-sabotage. It is yours. So when these things start to show up and they will, You're not going to be in panic or you're not going to purposely, even if it's subconscious, let them go or say no or whatever, because you feel that it's too much. If it's arriving, it's not a test y'all enough with this of like the universe is testing me. No, you are being offered exactly what the fuck you asked for. Now it may not come in looking the way that you want it to, but you know, it's like, we can't ask for something and then be like, "Mm, no thanks. Like that's, we're not doing that. Okay. And it's also, you know, part of this acceptance is also that discernment. You are being offered a new level of discernment. I know you're like, Rachel, I need an example. I would love to share. So again, this idea of acceptance, it's yours, right? As soon as I accepted, okay, we are building this entertainment empire. That's it. That's what we're, that's what we're going after. That is rooted in revolutionizing culture through comedy, togetherness, and spirituality. That's what we're doing, right? Period. That's a That's a pretty big sentence, right? For somebody to say. So it's going to happen in dribs and drabs and it's slowly going to come together. Now, as soon as we've made that acceptance and we've also been putting in the work from all the past versions of me, we've arrived at this destination where, you know, my husband and I closed on our, our dream studio. We bought a commercial building. That is a huge undertaking. I did all my financial line by lines, my projected profit, hiring new staff, right? It's like, oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money out the door. Now, some of this money we had saved and some of this money is, you know, I haven't taken a salary in two years. I mean, everything we've made goes back into our business, right? We do have a line of credit from the bank. That feels intimidating. What happens if this doesn't work and then I can't get that money back? Simultaneously, while this has happened, we also have another opportunity of opening up a comedy club. So it's like, wait a minute, all this is happening within like such a small period of time. And what I could do is self-sabotage. Now it would look more intellectual. It would go, oh, well, certainly. I mean, we, we couldn't do both of those same things at, at the same time. We should do one and we should start slow. And yes, that's the discernment piece. I've done this long enough now that I have the discernment to say, this is a big undertaking to do them at once. Because this other, the comedy club kind of came out of nowhere, right? It was the universe going, you wanted to do both. 
we're going to find a way for you to do both. It just didn't come in in the way that you thought it was going to. So I'm going to register that as it's yours. I asked for this. My husband and I asked for this. We've been manifesting this. It's ours. But I also need to accept that because it's here, I need to be on the lookout for what are the ways in which I'm going to self-sabotage, even if it looks more intelligent. And that's one of the ways it's going to look more intelligent. Well, you can't do this. Why not? I've been doing comedy. I could run a fucking comedy club in my sleep, right? That's not to brag. That's because that's what I've done my whole life. Sure, there's going to be a learning curve. Yes, we are going to make mistakes. We're going to make those mistakes in front of people. Yes, there's a lot of money on the line. The difference is I didn't do something where it's like we didn't take out a $4 million loan where it's like that doesn't work out. You lose everything, right? It is measured risk. So I know that the risk in which we're taking is measured. I know that I can put my ass on the line and I can make that happen. That's that level of discernment. So the acceptance is knowing, holy shit, the things that I've asked for are here. And that's a little trippy, right? When we've been doing this work and doing this work and maybe those big things haven't materialized yet. So there's still kind of this piece in our mind that's like, um, we don't full, we're not fully buying in because it hasn't materialized. So we may say that we have faith that all of these things, but until it materializes, we're still like, Oh no, no, no. Right now that's not the conscious part of us, but it exists. So as you walk through this process, what are the things that you need to accept for yourself as these things begin to show up? Right. Again, I'm offering this to you because in whatever leg of the journey you're on in this awakening, this spiritual journey, your self-growth, lack of self-sabotage, sobriety, wherever you are, whatever the words are that you use for this journey, some of you may be where I am where the really big things are materializing. And some of you may be in a place of like, I've just been broke. I got to get a better job. I got to get out of here. And suddenly those opportunities are presenting themselves. So it doesn't matter how big or how small. This is energy, friends. The energetics of this are the same for each of us. It is this opening, this portal, it's available to you. So accepting in your body, in your bones, that this is for you. And then learning that discernment of, is this self-tabotage? Am I just saying no to something? Because I very easily could have said that. No, that's impossible. We can't open two spaces at the same time. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I've also done a lot of crazy shit in my life, like had incredible opportunities in Hollywood. And instead of focusing on that opportunity I had the next day, I went out and got drunk and then I showed up to the opportunity hungover. That's pretty fucking crazy too. So don't say as though like you can't do crazy shit because I know full and well, if you and I sat down long enough, there's been a lot of crazy shit that you've done. So let's do crazy for shit that's going to pay off. You know, let's make some fucking crazy choices. Because you already have, but you made crazy choices that were not in service of yourself. You made crazy choices that are not moving the ball forward. So this is that time, again, for integrating that acceptance, knowing that what is coming in to your orbit, into your space is for you. It's not a test for you to fuck up. You don't have to do it perfectly. Like I said, there is going to, the learning curve of opening two spaces within a short period of time is going to be very steep. But I also know it's the thing I've been asking for. Nothing, that, that's the whole point. Leveling up means that you're learning as you go, right? If you even think about stairs, it's climbing. You have to, right? It's not an escalator that's like going straight up, right? So knowing that there are going to be things that you aren't prepared for. And what I don't want you to do is when it gets scary, you're going to want to back away. That's when that self-sabotage is going to begin. That's when you're going to come up against one hiccup and go, oh, nope, it's too much. You get the opportunity to move up and work. And you send one email to somebody who used to be your peer and now you're their boss. And they give you a little bit of attitude. And so all of a sudden for you, all those old stories come back. Why did I put myself in this position? They're right. I'm not ready for this job. Shut the fuck up. Yes, you absolutely are. Yes, you are. Them having their own opinions about you using that you used to be their peer and you put your hat in the ring and now you're in a different position than you were before. That's on them. That's not you. That's not on you to carry. It doesn't mean that it doesn't affect you or that you don't pick up on it. But it doesn't mean that you have to carry that. It doesn't mean that you did something wrong, right? One of my biggest narratives is 
that I've said this ad nauseum, so I apologize, but just to hit it home of like, everybody else gets to be number one and I'm number two. Everybody else gets to be the cool girl. I'll just be funny. Everybody else. I'm like, oh, why? Who decided that? Because there were a couple of people that were mean to me and that they felt better about themselves by them being number one and me being number two. I didn't choose that. I very actively chose that for a while. We don't choose that anymore. I can be whatever I want to be. It could be cringe. It could be whatever. But talking about it and being willing to go after that thing. And like for me, being willing to go, you know, yeah, I think people will be happy for me when I achieve my dreams. Because the old narrative that self-sabotage is don't go for it because then people are going to think you're bragging. Like I even posted a reel the other day that was like, uh, it was like one of those like POV reels, uh, which guys, every time I post one, know that I'm just throwing up in my mouth. I hate them so much. Um, but it's, you know, it's the business of being seen, baby. And it was like my husband and I uh, left Hollywood and are a month out from closing on our building. This was prior, uh, earlier in June. Right. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, everyone, you know, is going to think like, I think I'm better than everybody. And all these, like all these old stories of mean girls that said things to me. And so I was convinced I'm like, they're not here. You're 38 years old. You're almost 40 years old. And it's not bragging. It's the truth of what you're doing. And the more that you expand, y'all, the more that you step out, the more that you allow yourself to feel cringe and to go after what you're wanting to do, you welcome and invite other people to do that, period. And so half the time when I feel scared and I feel cringe, I'm like, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this because I want to convince everybody else that they're worthy of their dreams, that they are worthy of the thing that they want. And that's the learning curve. It's accepting that as you journey forward, you are going to have the opportunities to change your stories. And that will feed into next week and into the third week, all about your nervous system and response and action, which is like, I have to accept that if I want new outcomes, I have to take new actions, which means I have to accept things that used to make me feel cringe or, oh, I'm scared people are going to think I'm bragging. And spoiler, nobody wrote on that post, oh, what do you think you're better than everybody? Oh, like fat people can't be famous. Oh, like all of these awful things that I think about myself and I say to myself, right? Of like, oh, well, you can't do it. Or until you lose this baby weight, no one's going to take you seriously. Or like, oh, if only you, like everybody else can figure it out. Why can't you figure it out? Or like, no, you can only be famous if you're this. Or, oh, people aren't going to believe you. Or, oh, you have to. How nasty. How nasty. Y'all, now I've got my mom voice. Don't be nasty. I, you know, where I'm like, I would never say that to another person. I would never even think of saying anything remotely like that. And yet, and I only share that with you. It's so vulnerable, but I share it with you because I know you do the fucking same thing. And that's not what we're doing with where we're going. We have new stories. We love ourselves and we give ourselves grace for when we think things like that, but we acknowledge it's just a thought. And the higher thought is, this is just what I'm here to do. It's that simple. You don't have to convince anybody of anything. You don't have to convince yourself of anything. It's as simple as like, well, this is just what I'm here to do, right? It's like, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to, you know, become the principal of the school. I'm, I'm here to, you know, change our academic, academic systems in general. I'm, you know, I'm here to be a stay at home mom. I'm here to start this commune. I'm here to be an herbalist. I'm here to be a podcaster. I'm here to be an actor. I'm here, whatever yours is. It's that simple. It's accepting what has already been written. It's just earth that got in the way. So get out of your own way. Because again, like going back to that thing where all of my, my worst fears of what people are going to say to me and the amount of people that were like, dude, this is so cool. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations in that acceptance and that realizing that people want you to win, man. They do. People who love you, people who see you, people who value you admire you. They want you to win. So again, 999, we're detaching from all those old stories. And that's what self-sabotage is. It's buying into old stories. It's one thing if at the time that was at least your story and you were self-sabotaging, but now we know different. It's a totally different level. 
So this is heavy, heavy stuff. And, you know, our, with the nervous system and response and action, we're going to have more of kind of like how to's, but I really just want you to sit with this and really get vulnerable with yourself of what are those gross stories that you tell yourself, those gross thoughts that are cruel, that are not helpful and are not real, that are stopping you from getting, from leveling up. They're stopping you from just point blank accepting. Fuck, this is what I'm here to do. It's that simple. It's not bragging. It's not boasting. You don't think you're better than other people. This just feels that way because you are so conditioned and used to being second, playing small, participating in, in whatever it is, allowing people to use you for your body because that's what you feel is of value. We all have stories that keep us small. Even if we feel like we are in positions of quote unquote power or we do have money or like, you know, all of the variables are different. It kind of feels like those old, um, like those play dolls maybe you had as a kid where it's like, here's the doll, but then you could sub in like different hair or different clothes or different shoes. Like we all just can sub in different things, but we're all speaking the same language, which is what are the ways in which you hide from what is most true? And it's going to be uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable for me to put myself in the position. And for years I've been like, oh no, I'm being being seen. I have like a podcast and I do stand up. And it's like, no, 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 no. What is really stepping out, taking your robe off, naked in the moonlight, being like, I am here. I accept that this is just what I'm here to do. And so I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to not post the things because we all know that they're lame and we all know that they're, you know, whatever. Like, we're not doing that. Right? It's like, oh, that's so, I can't believe that she would do that. Oh, fine. That's not the point. The job in which I'm aiming for, the job in which I'm growing, what I'm asking for, what I'm doing requires those things. So that's what we're going to do. And all it is is alchemizing the things that I've done in order to be able to do the things that I know I am accepting that I am here to do. So I just want to say again, while I share all of my specifics, I share them as a point of education for you to be able to sit with what are your, what are your examples? What are your attention points? What are these for you? So you can't, it's like, sometimes I'm always hesitant because I'm like, oh, I don't want people to think I'm just like talking about myself and this is my therapy session. But I know sometimes when I listen to other healers and things where I'm like, but are you doing the work? So that's the only reason why I just share it because I know that's a little judgy, but sometimes I'm sure a lot of you are healers and creatives and such. And so I, I'm kind of like, you got to give me a little bit of what you're doing in your own life. You know, don't just give me like this beautiful read about a, you know, Kazimi and Scorpio and then not tell me, I'm like, yeah, but are you, are you fucking doing anything? Okay. So I share it so that you believe me when I tell you that this is not easy, it's not going to be easy, but we've already been doing it y'all. And so that's so much of it of like, just trusting that you can do it more and more and more. Cause we've already been doing it. We're already doing it. Okay. So stay cringe, baby. You know, if I had merch right now, that's what it would be because it just means that we are being authentic and we are accepting that this is what we are here to do. And we are accepting that this is ours. This is the business of leveling up and overcoming our self-sabotage. If you enjoyed this, um, lucky for you, we got two more. <laughs> so again, next week will be our nervous system. The week after that will be response and action. Uh, also, each of these readings are going to come with a um, a card read. I've also got some, um, some other bonus features that will come along for each one. So I'm going to do an in-depth card read. This will be a video. Uh, and so if you haven't joined my uh, paid subscriber Substack for the Rachel LaFour show. May I so humbly encourage you to come on over. Friends, it's $9.99. I'm sorry, what? You're right. $9.99. It is so affordable. That's for the entire month, by the way. Uh, and each week you get bonus features, bonus episodes. We've got articles, card reads. We do uh, group energy readings together live. We do those are uh, regular, so monthly, bi-monthly. 
uh, we also have um, live uh, Q&As. So that way you guys can like write in questions. We can answer them together. And so we're actually building community over there. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you're going through, what's working. This is not a podcast. I just want to do into the ether, into the vacuum for nothing. So if you're really feeling called, if you're in this work, if you're enjoying it, I really humbly encourage you to join me over there on Substack. It's only 10 bucks a month. I priced it in the way where I was like, like I said, 2017 me, 2018 me, when I was trying to slowly pull myself out of the choices and decisions in life I had created, I was broke. I didn't have, you know, three, $400 for readings. I didn't, but I had 10 bucks. I could do 10 bucks a month. And, you know, all of the teachers and people that came before me that offered things for free and for low cost helped me change my life. So that is available for you. Uh, and I, I haven't even done the card pull yet for this episode and I'm really, I'm digging it because this energy is really hot. So I'm excited. So please go over uh, and check that out. And in the meantime, take care of you. It's July. Relax. We're having a good time. It's all working out. Um, yeah. And stay tuned for the next two weeks. All right. Love you. Mean it.